Hello everybody and welcome back, it's me, Shweeby, and welcome back to the mansion. Today's request is by Hermit, he requested a grand library with a study room. But before we go into that, let me just point out a couple of things, they're a little important. As you can see now, the garden is beautiful, luscious, and full of color. I had to play a couple of weeks in game with the Sims me that was here. What I also did not realize is because I was using a Sims on the lot while trying to build this magnificent mansion is that there are certain items that are locked away that I cannot use unless I go through a bunch of different career paths. I don't have time or patience for that. So she's been evicted for now. I figure we'll bring her back in towards the end of the series and we'll just have her wander through all the rooms because why not? And back to the Grand Library and Study Room, I'm gonna use this section of the mansion for it because I have a really cool idea in mind and you'll see what I mean by specific items I wish to use but couldn't because there was a sense here, how dare. Pause. Do you see what I've done? It's a bookcase hidden door. I love these things. I want one in real life. And look, there's an even taller one. Look at that. Ah! I love it. Oh, it's it's just, it's cool. I don't know which one I want more. Do I want the really tall one? Well, uh, let me get to the building some more and then we'll see. But this is going to be, my, my idea behind this is this will be full of bookshelves and maybe like a couple of like um, seating arrangements and then this is gonna be like a hidden study where you can view the garden and stuff and I might change the windows a touch that way if you're out here you can't really look in and be super nosy you know cuz yeah Okay, so here's the library portion. I like it, and I'll admit, 
this right here, I, I was debating, do I want it this way, do I want it the other way? I, I like this best, and the reason I kind of wanted it like this is, like, there's books on either side. The extended part of the wall, I'll admit, was driving me crazy, but if I cut it short, then it's behind the bookcase, and, and my, my perfectionist OCD perfect right angle stuff won't happen. Dreams are crushed, but I just have to live with it. Overall, I like this. I don't know why I decided to go with a white, blue, brown, black theme, but it works. Um... And, I don't know, I kind of like it overall. Not the bed. And I was, I was really debating on getting rid of this corner here. But I was like, a plant could be fine. And then I was like, oh, maybe some, like, little picture thing up at the top. But it looked, it looked silly. So I was like, just put a little light. We'll get the plant. It'll be cute. Who cares? Now, oh, fishy. Because I can. So now, I'm going to work on the study. I'll see what I might do with this. Uh, I have a feeling I might just say, <laughs> never mind and cut it off. I don't know. We'll see. And with that, we have the study room. I built this in with the idea that maybe only one or two people will know about this room in the first place. So that's why it's there's a single desk, there is a maybe at most two people seat or love seat in here. And I went with the colors of purple, brown, and black, and then like a splash of red just to make it go pop. Because... I don't know. Um, I know purple is kind of a good color to use in most study rooms. They say that this helps with learning or whatever. I have no idea of how true that is. But I overall just kind of wanted it to look more executive and just like almost professional in a sense, which is why I also have these um, patents that are placked up in, in all corners of the room just about. And then this also very bright picture because I can. and. For those of you that saw a VIP Battle of Champagne, or whatever the heck it is you drink. But I really like this room. I really like how this one came about. And um, we do have some secret tomes and a, and a notebook for all of the people that you're going to go and thwack. I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. In this room, considering everybody has access to it, I kept with the blues, now that I think about it, Blue is a very calming color, so when you come in here, you're not going to be futzing around and going crazy and whatever. You're going to be in here to read, to study, so blue would be the perfect color because it's a very nice, calm, soft color. And I, I do like that I kept overall the theme of the dark browns, and at most that changed was the the main color of the room and it's just it's drastic just looking between the two it's like wow this means business this means chill out and read a book overall i really like how these turned out hermit thank you so much for the quest i really hope you enjoyed this and um just thank you so much for being a part of the community for as long as you have it's been a blast i know i didn't get around to asking your favorite color so if any of you that have put in requests if you have specific colors you want let me know otherwise i'm just gonna go willy-nilly with it but overall i think i think i did a pretty good job I like it overall for a community room aspect to a maybe one or two person aspect. And as like the first official rooms inside the mansion, great start I think. And if y'all happen to have any more requests, please let me know down in the comment section below. I am keeping a running list in the description of what rooms have been requested and what rooms have been completed. This way there won't be any double ups or any confusions. 
So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series because I am loving it. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications as well you know when the next episode of Shreebie's Mansion drops. Let's hear them. Grand Library Study Room looking fabulous. Battle cries. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> See you guys in the next episode.